Uh, Mike Rabai is a fun-loving DJ who's evolved from uh, spinning discs to spinning careers. Man, I wear many hats. Um, I'm a loving father, husband. I run an interesting enterprise that's involved in media and communication. At the same time, I also uh, DJ and I love to cook. I'm also chairman of the Rabat Family Road Trip Association. I design and plan where the family goes on trips during holidays. And so that's for me one of the toughest jobs in the world. Well, last day we did an amazing 12 hour trip to Malindi on the Discovery. I think to chat in a community like that is very demanding. It's got a lot of uh, huge expectations. You have to be very innovative all the time, uh, resilient and very tough. And uh, have, be, have a lot of foresight, actually. Okay, look, at, look at our story. Um, it kicked off as an accident. It was never meant to become a business. Um, but just because we love it so much, it ended up putting food on the table for us. So it's been one of those things that we, we, we actually look at as a, a lifeline but has evolved to become what it is and now employs a whole host of people that does so many interesting things. Um, but again, each time I look back, I can't tie the two together, you know. It's still a dream, actually. Yeah, I think we founded the foundation about five years, five years ago. The mere fact that those who help build the business are the young, are the young people in the, in, in the community. So I said, why not create something for the young people that can actually help give back? So foundation in its own right has helped develop initiatives that help uh, promote young people in business, in sports, uh, in their careers that are very informal as well. I think for me, venturing to sports, especially athletics, is the, the one of the most amazing metamorphoses in my life. I've seen young people develop from uh, struggling uh, athletes to becoming professionals in the last one year. And being the CEO of the 120 that's happening in August uh, next year, I've been forced to immerse myself in the world, understand what it takes to, to build and uh, work towards winning a gold medal. Yeah, I think having seen a, a company start in a bedroom as a, with a couple of decks and, uh, and headphones, listing in the NSC for me is almost like a dream come true. We will be the first company in East Africa to list in the, in the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Never have imagined that we'll be listing alongside big, big blue chip companies and now sitting, sitting alongside them on the, on the listing for me is something we never thought of. But again, it's dreams after dream after dream. So we're always striving to, striving to be the first in many areas, and this is one of the areas we've broken barriers and said, you know what, nothing can stop us. Now I think just from the mere journey we've, we've been undertaking as, as a company, um, whatever we've dreamt of, we've achieved. You know, we don't think about the barriers that, 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 that will, will actually slow us down. I think they're just stop signs that let us let the traffic get past and we keep going ahead. And so I think just as the, def as, as the new uh, defender, its ethos and what it stands for. I think we, we totally co correlate to each other. And uh, for us, again, we keep saying the sky is the limit. Any boundaries that come that comes in front of us, we will surpass one or the other, go over, under, or around it, but we will not be held back. I think success for me is seeing people around me happy. So when we create these platforms where young people can come in and fulfill their dreams, and I see them smiling out of what we managed to put on the, on the table for them, that for me is success. Well, I've had Land Rovers almost all my life. This is my sixth, actually. So I'm a very keen and avid lover of the Land Rover brand. I don't know if this guy can keep up with me. Let's find out.